Hey guys, uh, apologies for my voice. I am sick. It sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a very quick video on uh, sketching, I guess, weaponry. <laughs> I've got a lot of asks on videos to draw and like or to show, and I've got to do a lot of research on some of them. So, this one I have been researching for a few weeks um, and getting notes made. We'll just do a really quick demo on it. Basically, uh, when you're drawing a character um, that has like that's using weapons, especially when you're doing a D and T character, for instance, um, you want to like draw your weapon so it looks right and that your character is like interacting with it well and that it fits your character, right? So, action pose here. So I'm gonna give this guy. A one, this fist goes here, uh, this fist goes here. <laughs> Figuring out the fists. Well, that's a really terrible way to draw something. That looks horrible. Anyway, so we'll do like a big... He's gonna have a mace, essentially. So, first things first when drawing weaponry is one, what the hell weapon are you drawing? So do research. Pinterest, Google, um, DA, they all have references for weaponry. And the best thing about Pinterest is that you can put it all on a board and you can have it there for you. And you can see people in costume holding these weapons. Now, if you're designing your own weapon, that is an entirely different story. But if you get the basis of how to draw um, people holding weapons and holding things, then you'll be able to kind of make your own thing go. So different swords and everything, they have um, lengths and they have like different grips. This is obviously going to be, I want to say it's a morning star because it's like a giant mace type thing, but I think a mace is on a string. <laughs> learn terms, Megan, <laughs> learn terms. Anyways, so <laughs> you it has weight. You want to remember that your sword's gonna have, your weapon is gonna have weight, your weapon is going to have um, certain types of grips, uh, like a claymore is a two-handed broadsword that's almost six feet long, so if your character is holding it, it, it's gonna be freaking huge. So here's your little stick guy, and he's got a claymore, and it's like double-fisted, and the pommel's like that long, and the sword's almost like that long, like it's huge. Here's this little guy like, hey man, I'm holding a giant ass sword. So like, you have to realize like your character's height. So if you put a hobbit type or halfling character <laughs> holding a claymore, the sword would be twice the length of the little hobbit. Kind of like this. Anyway, so just, if you're trying to figure out the size of the character, like the size of the weapon towards the character, use the head as a measurement. Um, that's how you measure your character's height uh, a lot of times. So if you just take the head shape and you go, okay, one, two, three. All right, that's three heads long. That's about what the size is. Um, or for a claymore, it would be like, here's the guy's head. So we have one, two, three, four, five heads. Like, that's a really big freaking sword for a character. Five heads long, jeez. So, yeah. Um, again, when you're looking at like grips and stuff, uh, grab a broom handle or some sort of thick, um, depending on like a bar or something, and like hold on to it and see like how your hand grips and like where your fingers are placed and everything. Like a lot of people don't have swords sitting around. I'm lucky enough that I do. I have swords in my office and swords in my basement. Um, because I like swords, but <laughs> grip them, take some photos, or again, look on Pinterest and like look up people holding weaponry. Uh, you can get great cosplay video or pictures or like medieval reenactment um, pics of just people hold like wearing armor and holding swords and properly <laughs> holding things. This looks awful. Anyway, so you'll be able to get the right posing as well because when you're holding certain things there's weight to them like this is a big chunk of metal that's gonna be heavy and unless your character's like strength 20 and like oh this is nothing 
it's gonna have weight and you're gonna like want to feel how like that weight of that object unless you're trying to show like how super strong your character is like he's got it carelessly thrown over his shoulder like haha I do not care this thing means nothing to me it's so blase and stick men really help especially if you're like trying to figure out like this kind of pose do a little stick man of it or like just to like figure even armor you can like go okay well I want him to have a cool shoulder pad but he's gonna be wearing a loincloth because he's a barbarian type dude and he'll have like big fur boots but you'll if you do thumbnail then when you go to do the bigger version of it then I'm like okay well I know that he's got the arm pad here this is going into armor as well apparently <laughs> And I know that this strap is gonna go under here and then he could have another strap going up here And then it'll have like fur so like throw fur on it um, And then like okay, well, he's got this loincloth thing which is made out of hide, but it's kind of loose hide and He's got big furry boots. So I'll just like throw in some shape here and some shapes here and some like leather bindings to show that he's got like these big kind of hairy boots on and then I can go in and I can do more details after um, real quick on armor know your material know how it bends metal does not have any give leather um, depending on how thick or how supple it is um, it'll have certain types of give hard like armor type leather like reinforced leather will not have as will have more give than metal not as much give as say like something that you would make gloves out of um so know what materials you're putting on like a cotton loose cotton shirt isn't going to react the same as chain mail chain mail is heavy chain mail has like very uh, thick structure to it so a chainmail shirt wouldn't have loose flowing um, it doesn't matter how windy it is the chainmail isn't going to react the same as like a silk shirt because it doesn't have it's not as uh, free flowing it's highly dense and heavy it's metal it's not going to do the not going to react the same when I see people with paintings and drawings and they've got like these people wearing these like essentially chainmail dresses and they've got them like flying out in the background and the character's stationary and it's just wind, I'm like, they must be standing in a hurricane. That shit is heavy. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Anyways, back to my drawing. Um, that's a really inappropriate drawing. Anyways, so drawing your character just remember to use reference or look up reference of whatever weapon that you want for your details um pinterest again really great you can set up boards and you can have like a weaponry board or an armor board um look at the materials that are being used to make the weapon because if this was bone it would have a much different structure to it know the structure the thing you're going to draw um, again, take reference of like your hands holding um, grips and different types of grips. This guy could handle this one handed if you wanted to, but it would be much heavier unless again, he's super strong. Um, know the height of your character compared to the height of the weapon. Use human averages. So if the weapon is three feet long, use about three heads or three and a half heads to represent that. This is about three heads long, so it's about three feet. All right, um, I think I have covered almost everything I wanted to. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and I can do another um, more in-depth tutorial on fabric and armor and how different fabrics react and how to render them again let me know what you think in the comments below sorry about my voice i have a hell of a head cold and i will chatter at you later bye guys